Hello students welcome to Kenny's Educare a group of Kenny Solutions this is part 6 of lesson number 5 the fundamental unit of life now this might be the last lesson for this uh, like last part for this lesson fundamental unit of life because we have almost completed with this lesson we are just left with uh, three four components discussing about mitosis meiosis and the 10 questions which have been given so i'll try to cover that in this uh, part itself okay so we will start by discussing with the cell organelles that we have studied on but before that i want you all to go through all the parts jo cell organelles ke pehle humne discuss kiya hai so i will be showing you the screen for few seconds and i want you all to go through all the important points and capture the sentences which i am showing you all okay Now this activity also plays a very important role in your textbook because activity ke through the most important concepts have been explained to you with what the living organisms are made up of and all because we can't imagine that an onion peel also have cells right so this activities are uh, most important one and, and I want you all to know like you should know the activities because you know once you grow up. Uh, there will be certain things which will come in front of you and there you will be asked yaar ye humne school mein kiya tha do you remember this activity so that time if you, if you are not remembering this activity if you are not clearing your concept that time you say yaar yaad nahi hai might be we might have done but we are not remembering so this are some of the things like abhi aise bahut sare activities hai which i have done during my school time and still i remember those activities because and if someone ask me about those uh, you can say that mujhe koi us related kisi bhi uh, like if someone gives me a topic and if there is an activity which is related to it that activity suddenly comes to my mind and i can explain them the concept through that activity so this much confidence you should have with respect to the subject that you are studying okay and i hope that whatever diagram i have asked you all to draw in the last five parts i hope that everyone is going with the same because whatever like whatever i'm telling you to draw and to write the important points if you're having that and if you're going through that at least you will pass in your exam so see kabhi kabhi kya hota hai but pata hai hame drawing karna pasand hai right so we will draw the diagram as many diagrams you want we will draw but don't tell us to study so what can you do we suppose ab koi cancer aaya hai koi bhi suppose the answer is on to write a note on mitochondria now aapko answer mein kuch nahi yaad aa raha aapko bas itna yaad hai kyunki ye bahut saal se hum pad rahe hain that mitochondria is the power house of the cell okay to aapne ye sentence likh diya wahan pe and now you know the diagram so what can you do, do is instead of writing the answer you're not knowing the answer but still if you draw the diagram you'll get two marks for it. okay and whatever you are labeling in that diagram what can you do you can just write those things and like the basic points you can write and you can get at least two marks so instead of losing all the four marks at least try to have the diagram with you and ek cheez aur main bata do aapko like biology becomes more easy now this is a like aapko to science hi hai but this a to- this is a topic that comes under biology okay so biology becomes easy when you first practice the diagram so because once you know the diagram you are aware of the words that that comes there right while writing the answer because the diagram has all the labelings in it so now once you are aware of the labeling to apne pehle diagram practice kiya you know where is uh, where all the parts are you know the exact labeling and all so now while writing the answer aapko wo diagram ke through pura answer samajhna hai okay so while writing the answer you have to see the diagram jaise aap uh, इक्वेशन इम्पॉर्टेंट होते हैं ना फिजिक्स में क्या लाइक फिजिक्स में यू हैव डिफरेंट फार्मूलाज केमिस्ट्री में यू हैव केमिकल फार्मूलाज राइट 
वैसे ही बायोलॉजी में यू हैव दिस डायग्राम्स जो आपको बहुत ज़्यादा हेल्प करेगा इट इज़ गोइंग टू सपोर्ट कर ओके सो जब अभी ऐसा हो रहा है कि आपने फिजिक्स पढ़ लिया है दो घंटे नाउ यू डोंट हैव लाइक आपको पढ़ने का मन नहीं कर रहा सो वॉट कैन यू डू यू कैन यूज द स्किल वॉट यू कैन डू इज यू कैन ड्रॉ समथिंग एंड यू कैन ड्रॉ द डायग्राम ऑफ बायोलॉजी दिस इज वॉट आई यूज टू डू वैन आई वॉज इन ट्वेल्थ बिकॉज तब जा तब तो बहुत ज़्यादा प्रेशर होता है एंड यू ऑल बीन सी बी एस सी स्टूडेंट्स आई नो वट प्रेशर यू आर हैव इन यूर लाइक वट प्रेशर यू आर गो थ्रू हाउ मनी सब्जेक्ट्स यू हैव हाउ मनी एक्टिविटीज यू हैव टू डू सो आई वॉन्ट ही कि जब भी आप बायोलॉजी पढ़ो या वेन इट कम्स टू दिस लेसन फंडामेंटल यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ यू शुल हैव इन योर माइंड यू आर यू बायोलॉजी ओके आई डू इट नो वरीज बिकॉज आई नो द कॉन्सेप्ट आई एम क्लियर विद द कॉन्सेप्ट राइट बिकॉज सेल इज वन सच कॉन्सेप्ट जो आपके बॉडी के बारे में ही आप पढ़ रहे हो ना आपके बॉडी के अंदर इतने सारे सेल्स हैं आप उन सेल्स के कंपोनेंट्स के बारे में ही पढ़ रहे हो सो दिस इज नॉट समथिंग एल्स यू आर स्टडिंग कि आप बोलोगे यार पढ़ तो लिया है बट वेर आई एम गोइंग टू यूज द प्रिंसिपल है ना आप बोलते हो ना फिजिक्स के टॉपिक को लेके केमिस्ट्री के टॉपिक को लेके बट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू बायोलॉजी यू कैन से दैट थिंग बिकॉज आप खुद के बारे में स्टडी कर रहे हो एंड स्टडिंग अबाउट योर सेल्फ आई लाइक इट इज़ वेरी मच डिफिकल्ट टू स्टडी वेन इट कम्स टू स्टडिंग अबाउट आर सेल्फ ना हम खुद को बहुत ज़्यादा लाइटली लेते हैं एंड वी डोंट स्टडी बट इफ योर एजुकेशन सिस्टम इज़ प्रोवाइडिंग योर सेल्फ द सेम थिंग यू डोंट हैव टू स्टडी एक्स्ट्रा अबाउट योर सेल्फ बस आपको ये पढ़ना है बायोलॉजी में कि हाउ इज़ योर रेस्पिरेशन अखरिंग हाउ इज़ योर एक्सक्रीशन प्रोसेस अखरिंग रिप्रोडक्शन कैसे हो रहा है ये सारी बेसिक चीज़ें तो हम पढ़ रहे हैं यहाँ पर कुछ भी एक्स्ट्रा नहीं है यू आर स्टडिंग अबाउट एनवायरमेंट सो दिस इज़ द रीज़न आई लव बायोलॉजी एंड आई वॉन्ट यू ऑल टू फॉल इन लव विद बायोलॉजी बिकॉज वॉट एवर यू आर स्टडिंग इफ़ यू आर लविंग इट तो आपके कॉन्सेप्ट तो क्लियर होंगे ही बट यू विल स्कोर द हाइस्ट मार्क्स नॉट ओनली इन बायोलॉजी एवरी सब्जेक्ट दैट यू स्टडी सी टू एट दैट यू आर नॉट गेटिंग बोर्ड विद दैट यू आर लविंग दैट सब्जेक्ट ओके दैट इज गोइंग टू हेल्प यू अ लॉट ठीक है प्लीज गो थ्रू द इम्पॉर्टेंट सेंटेंसेज विच यू कैन कैच इन योर माइंड
please go through them because i don't want you all to put extra efforts on this lesson because while i'm revising it should fit into your mind that plasma membrane is also called as cell membrane it is selectively permeable right so how the diff how uh, the gaseous exchange are taking place through diffusion process what is diffusion spontaneous movement of substance that takes place from a region of high concentration to a region of low concentration that is called as diffusion okay then please read it so that you have a revision of it and up to last moment pe you don't have to go through all such things okay you are aware of the subject at least so here while discussing on plasma membrane and cell membrane we have discussed on diffusion we have discussed on osmosis so i hope you have taken a note of it what exactly diffusion is and what exactly osmosis is so you need to revise that now itself okay here we have like three different types of solutions that we have discussed on hypotonic solution isotonic solution and hypertonic solution so hypotonic isotonic and hypertonic so these are the three different types of solutions that we have okay please go through the definitions the first point is about the hypotonic solution second point is about the isotonic solution and the third point is with respect to the hypertonic solution okay so whenever you are writing an answer on this hypertonic isotonic and hypotonic solution you need to draw this diagram as well so hypertonic mein aap show karoge the cell is shrinking it means the water content from inside the cell is uh, is moving out outside the cell isotonic mein nothing is happening because the there is no net movement of the water which you can see because the concentration of water inside the cell as well as the concentration of the water outside the cell that is equal so we call that type of solution as isotonic solution okay and then we have this hypotonic solution jahan pe aap dekhoge the cell ke andar from outside environment the water is entering inside the cell and that is the reason hypotonic solution mein the cell ka size jo hai that swells up the the you can say that the cell is swelling up okay whenever you get a chance of doing this excel while experiment with uh, dilute hydrochloric do try to perform this you will enjoy doing this activity okay if possible like uh, if you have your uh, science lab then uh, might be possible that they might show you an uh, like in the lab 
will not get to perform it but you will get to see this okay and with resins so you can do this at your house only uh, you just need this salt solution chahiye uh, resins ke liye yeah you have to keep the resin in water and baad mein usko nikal ke salt solution mein dalna hai so you will see how the resin is shrinking and how every uh, and how it is swelling up theek hai swell kab hoga water ke andar ja ke the resin will swell up and shrink kab hoga when you put that in concentrated salt solution you will see that the resin will shrink this is because of the osmosis process okay so here you have one another phenomenon which is called as plasmolysis to discuss right so jab aap jab aap plasma membrane ki baat karoge plasma membrane mein we have diffusion and osmosis process to discuss and when we are discussing on cell wall we have this plasmolysis to discuss okay then this is another activity that humne discuss ki thi so i hope you remember यहाँ पे वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट दी यू कैन से प्रोकैरियोटिक प्रोकैरियोट्स एंड यूकैरियोट सो यू माइट हैव कम टू नो अबाउट दी प्रोकैरियोटिक डीएनए एंड नॉट प्रोकैरियोटिक डीएनए प्रोकैरियोट्स एंड यूकैरियोट्स के बीच का डिफ्रेंसिएशन आपको पता चला होगा दो आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू ऑल अबाउट दिस प्रोकैरियोट्स एंड यूकैरियोट्स इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट इट सेल्फ दिस इज इंक्लूडेड इन योर टेक्सट बुक एज वेल सो वी हैव ऑल्सो डिस्कस्ड ऑन दिस एज वेल सो प्लीज गो थ्रू दिस you should know what a chromatin material is you should know what a chromosome is you should know what a dna is and what the chromosome is made up of okay and you should know what prokaryotes is and what eukaryotes okay so this is the prokaryotic cell how does it looks like it has a cell wall it has a plasma membrane it has a nucleoid nucleoid kisko bolte hain hum log jiske paas nuclear membrane nahi hota so nucleoid means it is not having a nuclear membrane it just have a nucleic acid and we have two different types of nucleic acid that is deoxy ribonucleic acid and ribose nucleic acid which is dna and rna right साइटोप्लाज्म साइटोप्लाज्म इज नॉट एन ऑर्गेनल इट इज अ फ्लूड विच इज बीन प्रेजेंट जिसके ऊपर सारे ऑर्गेनल्स आर बीन स्टेक लाइक ऑल दी ऑर्गेनल्स आर प्रेजेंट ऑन द साइटोप्लाज्म इट सेल्फ ओके
सो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड ऑन डिफरेंट सेल ऑर्गेनिज्म हमने क्या देखा कि हर एक सेल के पास हर एक सेल के पास जो उसका कंटेंट होता है ना इट डजेंट वॉन्ट टू शेयर दैट कंटेंट विद द इंटरनल एंड द एक्सटर्नल एनवायरमेंट सो दैट सो दैट इज द रीजन दैट द सेल इज सेपरेटिंग इट्स कंटेंट विद अ मेमरेन ओके सो लार्ज एंड कॉम्प्लेक्स सेल्स दैट वी आर हैविंग लाइक इट कैन इंक्लूड द सेल्स ऑफ द मल्टी सेलुलर ऑर्गेनिजम्स नाउ वी मल्टी सेलुलर ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स राइट एंड वी नीड डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ केमिकल एक्टिविटीज सो दैट हमारा जो कॉम्प्लेक्स स्ट्रक्चर है एंड हमारा जो कॉम्प्लिकेटेड फंक्शन है दैट कैन बी परफॉर्म वेल सो टू कीप दिस एक्टिविटीज ऑफ डिफरेंट काइंड सेपरेट फ्रॉम ईच अदर हमें क्या चाहिए वी नीड मेमरेन बाउंड डिटल स्ट्रक्चर्स दैट इज वी नीड डिफरेंट सेल और गैनल्स एंड दिस इज वन सच फीचर्स ऑफ यूकेरियोटिक सेल बिकॉज प्रोकेरियोटिक सेल डो नॉट हैव मेमरेन बाउंड सेल और गैनल ओनली यूकेरियोटिक सेल्स हैव दिस मेमरेन बाउंड सेल और गैनल्स ओके तो हमने न्यूक्लियस के बारे में पहले ही डिस्कस कर लिया है सो न्यूक्लियस इज ऑल्सो वन सच सेल और गैनल दैट वी हैव along with nucleus the different types of cell organelles that we have in our cell is endoplasmic reticulum we have golgi apparatus we have lysosomes mitochondria plastids okay so these are different kinds of cell organelles that we have and they are important this cell organelles are important because they carry out certain very crucial functions in cell okay so this is the reason that cell organelles are important and each cell organelle has some important kind of function to perform so we have discussed on the first type of cell organelle that is endoplasmic reticulum which is a network of membrane bound tubes and sheets kya hai ye endoplasmic reticulum is a network of membrane bound tubes and sheets and you will see that ye endoplasmic reticulum it looks like a long tubule or you can say it is round or oblong bags which are present so this endoplasmic membrane it is going to be similar in structure to plasma membrane itself and we have two different types of endoplasmic reticulum ek hai rough endoplasmic reticulum and ek hai smooth endoplasmic reticulum okay ab rough endoplasmic reticulum jab aap microscope ke andar dekhoge you will see that it is rough why is it rough because it is having certain particles which are called as ribosomes which are attached to its surface okay ab ye ribosomes jo hai wo sare active cells ke andar present hote hain because this ribosomes they are the site for protein synthesis and the manufactured protein that we get from this ribosome hum usko cell ke alag alag sites tak pahunchayenge as the cell needs them depending upon the need of the cell this manufactured proteins are sent to various places using this endoplasmic reticulum itself एंड जो हमारा स्मूथ एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम है वो फैट मॉलिक्यूल लिपिड्स ये सब के मैन्युफैक्चरिंग में हेल्प करता है विच आर इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर द सेलुलर फंक्शन ओके सो सम ऑफ द प्रोटीन्स एंड लिपिड्स दैट वी हैव दे आर गोइंग टू हेल्प अस इन बिल्डिंग द सेल मेमरेन एंड दिस प्रोसेस वी कॉल इट एज मेमरेन बायोजेनासिस क्या बोलते हैं हम इसे मेमरेन बायोजेनासिस ओके एंड सम ऑफ द प्रोटीन्स एज वेल एज लिपिड्स दे ऑल्सो फंक्शन एज एनजाइम्स एंड हारमोन्स and although this endoplasmic reticulum if you see that it varies very greatly with respect to uh, the appearance which we see in different kinds of cell it is going to form a network system kya form karega wo network system form karega so one function of endoplasmic reticulum is to serve as a channel so that it can transport different materials and here the different materials especially it is going to be protein okay between the various regions of cytoplasm or between the cytoplasm and the nucleus okay so here the endoplasmic reticulum is going to function as a cytoplasmic framework and this cytoplasmic framework it provides a surface for the biochemical activities of the cell so in the liver cell if we see liver cells when we see of this group of animals which we call them as vertebrates this smooth endoplasmic reticulum they play a very crucial role so what are they going to do here they play a very crucial role where they are going to detoxify many poisons as well as drugs kya detoxify karenge wo poisons and drugs ko okay so i hope you have drawn the structure of animal cell and plant cell
Then the second thing that we have discussed on is Golgi apparatus. So Golgi apparatus पहले किसने describe किया था? It was first described by Camillo Golgi and it has a system of membrane bound vesicle. क्या है यहाँ पे? It has a system of membrane bound vesicle जो parallelly arranged होता है stacks में and with that stacks are called as cisternae. ठीक है क्या बोलते हैं हम उसको cisternae. तो ये जो membrane है it like you will see that it is connected with the membrane of endoplasmic reticulum and therefore it constitute another portion of complex cellular membrane structure. What does it consist of? Complex cellular membrane structure. Okay. So the material which is synthesized near the endoplasmic reticulum, it is going to pack that and it is going to dispatch it to various targets inside and outside the cell which is going to occur through the Golgi apparatus. Okay. So the major function of this Golgi apparatus it includes like storage. Okay, what is storage? Then we have modification. We have packing of product in vessels. And in case what has been done is they also uh, like make complex sugar. Like complex sugar ko break karke they are going to make simple sugar out of those complex sugar. Okay. So, Golgi apparatus is also involved in the formation of lysosomes. Golgi apparatus kahan pe involved hai? In forming the lysosomes together. Okay. Then we discussed on this Camillo Golgi where he he has uh, like introduced a method called as black reaction, right? So he was he was studying medicine at the University of Pavia, and after he graduated from his university in the year eighteen sixty five, he was continuing his work with Pavia at the hospital of Saint Matteo. Okay, so there he was doing most of the investigations and the investigations were with respect to the nervous system itself. Okay, so year 1872 May, he accepted the post of chief medical officer at the hospital for the chronically sick at Abiasto Grasso, CMO. He, what, what was he? He was the CMO at the hospital and he started investigating more on this nervous system where there was a kitchen inside the hospital, a little kitchen, and he had converted that kitchen into a lab. And because of the greatest, the work that he has done was of greatest importance. The Golgi, he carried out some revolutionary method where he had developed some staining individual nerve. So he has given us a method where we can now even stain the individual nerve and the cell structure. And this method of this Golgi we refer to as the black reaction. So here in this black reaction, we are going to use the weak solution of silver nitrate. Okay, kya use karenge hum? Silver nitrate. And is particularly valuable in tracing the processes and most delicate ramifications of the cell. So all through his life, Golgi continued to work on these lines where he was modifying and improving this technique which he had developed. So Golgi, he received his highest honors and awards and recognition of his work and also he shares a Nobel Prize in the year 1906 with Santiago Ramone Cajal for the work on the structure of the nervous system. Okay. After that, we discussed the lysosomes ke kiya hai. and remember one sentence about lysosomes that lysosomes are the suicide bag of suicide bag of a cell. Why? Because जैसे ही हमारे cell के अंदर कोई भी foreign material आता है and lysosomes find that that the cell is getting damaged. So what happens? Lysosome is going to burst itself and the enzyme which is present there it is going to digest their own cell. Okay, kya hoga yaha pe? Enzymes are going to digest their own cell and therefore um, lysosomes ko suicide bags bhi bolte hai. So if you see lysosome ka uh, structure, uh, if you see it structurally, lysosomes are membrane bound sac which are filled with digestive enzyme. Kya hai lysosomes? They are membrane bound sac and this membrane bound sacs, they are filled with digestive enzyme. Okay.
digestive enzymes are filled hai wo, and this enzymes this enzymes which are uh, like as I told you lysosome ke andar digestive enzymes hai so ye enzymes jo hai they are made by rough endoplasmic reticulum kaun banata hai ye enzyme rough endoplasmic reticulum and this lysosomes they are a kind of waste disposal system of the cell kya hai wo they are the waste disposal system of the cell because whatever waste the cell are having lysosomes are going to remove that waste so lysosomes help to clean, keep the cell clean by digesting any foreign material as well as the worn out cell organelles which are present inside the cell so foreign materials entering the cell such as bacteria or food as well as old organelles they are all going to end up in the lysosomes and this lysosomes they are going to break down the complex substances into simpler substance okay so now the lysosomes are able to do this because unke paas ek powerful digestive enzyme hota hai kya hota hai powerful digestive enzyme hota hai which is capable of breaking down all organic material jitne bhi organic material hai this lysosomes jo hai they are capable of breaking down them all and during the disturbances in cellular metabolism ab cellular metabolism mein jo bhi disturbances aati hai when the cells get damaged as i told you lysosomes khud ko burst karenge and the enzymes which are present in the lysosome they are going to digest their own cell and therefore hum lysosomes ke ko aur kya bolte hain we also call them as the suicide bag of a cell kya bolenge suicide bag of the cell now the next thing that we have is mitochondria so mitochondria ka structure is very easy uh, like it has a outer membrane it have an inner membrane फिर मैट्रिक्स है क्रिस्टा है सो दिस इज वॉट यू नीड टू लिव इन एंड देर राइजोसोम्स भी होते हैं डी एन ए भी होता है एंड देर आर मेनी थिंग्स विच आर प्रेजेंट इन साइड दी स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ दी माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया ओके सो माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया में पहला सेंटेंस ये दिया हुआ है दैट माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया आर नोन एज दी पावर हाउस ऑफ द सेल क्या है माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया दे आर दी पावर हाउस ऑफ द सेल एंड दे हैव टू मेमरेन कवरिंग्स कैन यू सी इट हैज टू मेमरेन कवरिंग्स आउटर मेमरेन एंड इनर मेमरेन दिस आर द टू इम्पॉर्टेंट मेमरेन कवरिंग सो योर द आउटर मेमरेन इज पोरस आउटर मेमरेन क्या होता है पोरस होता है वाइल द इनर मेमरेन दैट वी हैव इज डीपली फोल्डेड कैन यू सी द फोल्ड्स इन साइड द माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया सो इनर मेमरेन इज गोइंग टू बी डीपली फोल्डेड बट द आउटर मेमरेन इज गोइंग टू बी पोरस ओके so the folds which are present inside the mitochondria it increases the surface area now why there are folds kyunki usse kya hoga hamara surface area increase hoga for this atp generating chemical reaction now we have different kinds of atp generating chemical reactions which takes place and for that we need to increase the space and the foldings are because of this reason only that the surface area will get increased and इनडायरेक्टली वॉट हैपन्स इज हमारा जो ए टी पी जनरेटिंग केमिकल रिएक्शन है दैट इज ऑल्सो गोइंग टू इंक्रीज ओके सो द एनर्जी विच इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर वेरियस केमिकल एक्टिविटीज जो भी अभी हमारे सेल को या हमारे लाइफ में जो भी एक्टिविटीज केमिकल एक्टिविटीज करवाने की जरूरत है ऑल द एक्टिविटीज के लिए जो भी काइंड ऑफ एनर्जी इज बिन रिक्वायर्ड that is been released by the mitochondria and that is why we call this mitochondria as the power house of the cell jitni bhi energy hai kaun release karega mitochondria release karega and the energy is released in the form of adp now adp ka full form is given adp atp is adenosine triphosphate okay now always remember mitochondria is the power house of the cell and atp is the energy currency of the cell now many people get confused with this energy currency of the cell and power house of the cell so mitochondria ko hum power house of the cell bolte hain and atp is known as the energy currency of the cell because because mitochondria is going to release the energy in the form of atp okay to so, hamara jo body hai वो इस एनर्जी को स्टोर करेगा लाइक द बॉडी यूजेज एनर्जी विच इज स्टोर्ड इन दिस एडिनोसाइन ट्राइफॉस्फेट सो दैट इट कैन मेक न्यू केमिकल कंपाउंड्स फॉर मैकेनिकल वर्क अब अलग अलग नए केमिकल कंपाउंड्स फॉर्म करने के लिए एज वेल एज द मैकेनिकल वर्क शुड गो ऑन राइट सो आर बॉडी इज गोइंग टू यूज दिस स्टोर्ड ए टी पी विच वी आर हैविंग विच इज बीन गिवन टू अस बाई आर माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया ओके सो माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया they are strange organelle in the sense that 
दे हैव दर ओन डी एन ए एंड राइबोजोम माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया क्या है वो स्ट्रेंज और गैनल्स है कैसे सेंस में क्योंकि माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया के पास खुद का डी एन ए है और खुद का राइबोजोम भी प्रेजेंट है एंड दैट इज़ वाई माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया जो है वो अपना खुद का प्रोटीन भी बना सकता है बिकॉज फॉर मेकिंग आर ओन प्रोटीन राइबोजोम इज द साइड फॉर प्रोटीन सिंथसिस राइट एंड बिकॉज माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया इज हैविंग इट्स ओन राइबोजोम इट कैन सिंथसाइज इट्स ओन प्रोटीन एज वेल नाउ आई वॉन्ट यूर टू राइट दिस टू स्टेटमेंट्स विच हैव बिन गिवन फर्स्ट इज माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया आर नोन एज द पावर हाउस ऑफ द सेल एंड द सेकेंड स्टेटमेंट दैट यू नीड टू राइट इज ए टी पी इज नोन एज दंट एनर्जी करेंसी ऑफ द सेल एंड यू विल नॉट राइट ए टी पी यू विल राइट एडिनोसाइन ट्राईफॉस्पेट इन ब्रैकेट राइट ए टी पी इज नोन एज द एनर्जी करेंसी ऑफ द सेल आई एम गिविंग यू वन मिनट टू राइट दिस ओके as well as your homework for today is drawing the diagram of mitochondria as well two times now see mitochondria itna zyada difficult bhi nahi hai aapko bas likhna hai ki do membrane hai outer membrane inner membrane aur ye do important statements to aap learn karoge right fir aap likhoge outer membrane kaisa hai outer membrane porous hai inner membrane mein foldings hai now why are these foldings so that एट सरफेस एरिया इंक्रीज हो सके और ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा ए टी पी जनरेटिंग केमिकल रिएक्शन हो सके वहाँ पर ओके एंड हमारे हमें जो भी हमारे सेल्स को जो भी एनर्जी की रिक्वायरमेंट होती है फॉर कैरिंग आउट द केमिकल एक्टिविटीज द एनर्जी इज गिवन गिवन बाई दी माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया इट सेल्फ इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ए टी पी एंड ए टी पी इज द एनर्जी करेंसी ऑफ द सेल ओके सो दिस इज आव वेन यू कम्बाइन कम्बाइन एंड कम्पाइल अप एवरीथिंग You will see that uh, यहाँ पे you can make at least six points out of it. Okay. then after mitochondria the next thing that we have to study is plastids okay now ye plastid ka structure hai and if you can see this yellow part that is called the inner membrane okay fir second labeling that you have this is the inner membrane space okay then you have the third one as outer membrane to ye to cheez teen ho easily yaad ho jayegi you have an inner membrane you have an outer membrane and between the inner and outer membrane you have one more membrane which is called as inner membrane space okay now this fourth thing that you can see that is the stroma kya hai wo stroma now the coin line thing that you can see that is called as thylakoid ye kya hai coin jaisa jo aapko dikh raha hai na inko hum bolte hain thylakoids and the sixth one jab ek sath aap coins rakhte ho che sath coins jab ek sath rakhoge then that is called as lamella kya bolte hain usko lamella so this is the structure of chloroplast which has been given and ye plastids ke andar hi aata hai okay and always remember that the animal cells are not going to have this plastids so plastids kahan pe present hoga plastids are present only in the plant cell and mentioning this statement is very much important okay plastid kahan pe milega can we get plastids in the animal cell no we can't get plastid in the animal cell plastids are only present in the plant cell okay after that we have two different kinds of plastids kitne do type ke plastids hote hain hamare paas ek hai chromoplast chromo means color okay so first type of plastid that we have is chromoplast chromo ka matlab color hota hai so that becomes colored plastid and second one that we have is leucoplast kya hai 
leucoplast leuco matlab it is white or colorless so second type that we have is colorless plastids okay now chromoplast which is called as the colored plastids it contains the pigment chlorophyll and we all know that why the plants are green in color why the leaves are green in color because of the chlorophyll pigment that the leaves are having right so chromoplast as it is a colored plastid it has certain pigment called as chlorophyll and we know this chlorophyll pigment as the chloroplast okay so chromoplast kahan pe hota hai chromoplast is having this pigment and chlorophyll and isko hum bolte hai chloroplast now chloroplast hame pata hai when you might have studied about the process of photosynthesis right and we all are aware of photosynthesis process ke liye chlorophyll and chloroplast are very much important right so chloroplast are important for photosynthesis in plant and chloroplast also contain various yellow or orange pigment in addition to chlorophyll ab hame pata hai chlorophyll jo hai wo hame green color ka pigment deta hai right but along with this chloroplast ke andar uh, yellow and orange pigments bhi hote hain okay so leucoplast i told you that leucoplast are going to be white or colorless and chromoplast mai told you that we have chlorophyll that gives green color to the plant along with this we also have yellow and orange pigments together okay so leucoplast they are primarily organelle in which materials such as starch oils and protein granules are stored leucoplast kya hai leucoplast jo hai they are primarily organelle jinke andar starch present hota hai oil present hota hai protein granules hote hain and they store this all things ओके सो द इंटरनल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ द क्लोरोप्लास्ट अब अगर आप क्लोरोप्लास्ट का इंटरनल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन देखोगे दिस इज द इंटरनल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ द क्लोरोप्लास्ट सो इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ न्यूमरस मेम्ब्रेन व्हाट न्यूमरस मेम्ब्रेन लेयर व्हिच आर एम्बेडेड इन अ मटेरियल व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एज स्ट्रोमा कैन यू सी दिस फोर्थ वन ये स्ट्रोमा है एंड स्ट्रोमा के अंदर यू विल सी दैट देर आर वेरियस मेम्ब्रेन विच आर बिन एम्बेडेड इन साइड ओके सो दिस आर सिमिलर टू माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया इन एक्सटर्नल स्ट्रक्चर तो ये किसके सिमिलर होगा इट इज गोइंग टू बी सिमिलर टू माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया इन द एक्सटर्नल स्ट्रक्चर सो लाइक द माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया प्लास्टिड के पास भी खुद का डीएनए और खुद का राइबोजोम होता है ना वाइल्ड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड हियर अबाउट माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया हमने यहाँ देखा ना दैट माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया दे हैव दर ओन डी एंड राइबोजोम so similarly plastids also have their own dna and ribosome and if ribosomes they are having it means they can synthesize their own protein itself because ribosome is the site of protein synthesis right so i hope you are clear with plastid now the next thing that we have is vacuole okay this is a plant cell with vacuole in it and wait okay so this is the plant cell with vacuoles in it now you know what is chloroplast you know what is mitochondria you know what is rough endoplasmic reticulum you know what is nucleus nucleolus nuclear envelope cell wall pata hai aapko smooth endoplasmic reticulum pata hai ribosome pata hai golgi apparatus pata hai plasma membrane pata hai and cytoplasm pata hai so most of the things which are been labeled here in the plant cell you are aware of it you are aware of the functions that they are performing right so can you see in the center you have a large vacuole so vacuoles kya karte hain vacuoles are storage sac for solid or liquid component or content so whatever solid content or whatever kind of liquid content that we have where it is stored इट इज स्टोर्ड इन दी वैक्यूल ओके सो वैक्यूल्स अगर आप एनिमल सेल्स में देखोगे यहाँ पे ये प्लांट सेल का डायग्राम में आपको वैक्यूल शो किया है सो प्लांट सेल्स जो है दे हैव अ वेरी लार्ज वैक्यूल बट एज यू कंपेयर इट विद द एनिमल सेल एनिमल सेल के पास जो वैक्यूल होता है दे आर स्मॉल साइज कैसे है ये एनिमल्स हैव स्मॉल साइज वैक्यूल्स एंड प्लांट्स हैव लार्ज वैक्यूल्स ओके सो the central vacuole of some plant a plant cell ke andar beech mein vacuole hota hai right so the central vacuole of some plant cells they occupy 50 to 90 percent of the cell volume because vacuoles are larger in plant cell right 
सो so, जो प्लांट सेल के अंदर सेंट्रल वैक्यूल है उसके पास सेल का 50 से 90 परसेंट ऑफ द सेल वॉल्यूम प्रेजेंट होता है ओके सो इन प्लांट सेल्स वैक्यूल्स आर फुल ऑफ सेल सैप एंड दे प्रोवाइड टर्जिडिटी एंड रिजिडिटी टू द सेल ठीक है प्लांट सेल में वैक्यूल्स के पास क्या होता है दे आर प्लांट सेल्स आर फुल ऑफ सेल सैप किससे फुल होते हैं वो सेल सैप से वेर दिस वैक्यूल्स दे प्रोवाइड टर्जिडिटी एंड रिजिडिटी टू द सेल क्या प्रोवाइड करेंगे टर्जिडिटी एंड रिजिडिटी टू द सेल ओके सो मेनी सब्सटेंसेस ऑफ इम्पोर्टेंस इन द लाइफ ऑफ प्लांट सेल्स दे आर स्टोर्ड इन द वैक्यूल्स तो कोई भी सब्सटेंस अगर प्रेजेंट है एनी सब्सटेंस विच इज प्रेजेंट इन द यू कैन से प्लांट सेल उसको प्लांट कहाँ पे स्टोर करेगा द प्लांट इज गोइंग टू स्टोर दैट इन द वैक्यूल ओके सो कौन सा सब्सटेंसेस जो इम्पॉर्टेंट है प्लांट के लिए एंड इट इज स्टोरिंग दैट इन द वैक्यूल सो इट इज स्टोरिंग अ माइनो एसिड इट इज स्टोरिंग शुगर दैन इट हैज वेरियस ऑर्गेनिक एसिड्स इट हैज सम प्रोटीन्स ओके सो दिस आर सम ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग्स दैट द प्लांट्स यूज ओके so now what's written amino acid sugar and various organic acids as well as there are proteins which the plants store inside the vacuole now if i talk about a single celled organism where the organism is single celled wahan pe ek hi cell hai like amoeba theek hai to wahan pe the food vacuole contains the food item wahan pe food food vacuole kya contain karta hai it contains the food item that the amoeba has consumed kya hoga it is going to have a food item jo amoeba con- consume karega okay so the structural unit of living organism okay it is also the basic functional unit of life what it is it is the basic functional unit of life that we have okay सो इन सम यूनिसेल्युलर ऑर्गेनिज्म यूनिसेल्युलर मतलब ऐसे ऑर्गेनिज्म जो सिर्फ एक सेल से बनते हैं दे हैव अ स्पेशलाइज वैक्यूल विच प्ले इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल इन एक्सपेलिंग द एक्सेस वाटर एंड सम वेस्ट फ्रॉम द सेल अब यूनिसेल्युलर ऑर्गेनिज्म के अंदर एक स्पेशलाइज वैक्यूल प्रेजेंट होता है जो वैक्यूल के अंदर जो भी इम्पोर्टेंट जो भी एक्सेस वाटर है और जो भी वेस्ट है दे आर गोइंग टू रिमूव दैट फ्राम फ्राम देयर ओके so each cell thus acquires its structure and ability to function ab har ek cell apna structure aur ability kahan se acquire karta hai how it is able to function because of the membrane because of the organization of the membrane and organelles in a specific way because all the because the membrane that we are having that is arranged in a specific way right the organelles that are present in the cell that is also arranged in a specific way so how that cell is acquiring its ability to do that by because of the organization that it is having okay so cell so the cell has a basic structural organization cell ke paas kya hota hai cell has a basic structural organization which is present so this helps the cell to perform functions like now because of this basic structural organization that the cells are having what is happening it is performing some important functions like respiration obtaining its nutrition clearing of the waste material okay then 
forming new proteins and thus cell is the fundamental structural and functional unit of life okay i hope you are clear till your what i am say, uh, what i am telling okay so i want you to write certain things like yahan pe diya hua hai the substances of importance in the life of the plant cell and you need to write this sentence first two sentence that vacuoles they are the storage sac for plants uh, for liquid or uh, solid content and they are small in animal cells while plant cells they have a larger vacuum okay so i hope this vacuum is understood properly to you all okay now the last part that we have for this lesson is the cell division process okay so see new cells are formed in organisms in order to grow new cells kyu bante hain organisms ke andar taki wo grow kar sake so that they can replace the old cell they can replace the dead and injured cells and they can form gametes which are required for reproduction because gamete formation is also important for reproduction process right so the process by which we are making new cell that is called as cell division cell division kya hai the process by which new cells are made is called as cell division and we have two main types of cell division kaun se do type ke cell division hai we have mitosis and meiosis and these are the two important types of cell division that we have and the process of cell division by which most of the cell divide theek hai अब ऐसा प्रोसेस ऑफ सेल डिवीजन जिससे बहुत सारे सेल डिवाइड करते हैं वी कॉल दैट प्रोसेस एज माइटोसिस और माइटोसिस में क्या होता है ईच सेल कॉल्ड मदर सेल जो हमारा मदर सेल है दैट डिवाइड्स टू फॉर्म टू आइडेंटिकल डॉटर सेल कैन यू सी दिस माइटोसिस वाला दिस इज Uh, this is a cell. This is the mother cell that we are having, and each mother cell is going to divide. Okay, so this is going to help us. The mother cell is going to divide so that it can form two identical daughter cell. Can you see? Mitosis me kya ho raha hai? Mother cell se hume two identical daughter cell mil raha hai. Okay. and the daughter cell that we are going to get here during mitosis they are going to have same number of chromosome as the mother cell so if the mother cell is having 46 number of chromosome the daughter cells are also going to have this 46 pairs of chromosome okay so it helps in the growth and repair of tissue in the organism so you have to remember mitosis mein after cell division we get two identical daughter cell kya milta hai mitosis mein 
we get two identical daughter cell and the specific cells of this reproductive organs or tissue in animal and plants they divide so that they can form gametes और अभी अब जो हमारे रिप्रोडक्टिव ऑर्गन या रिप्रोडक्टिव टिश्यू है प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स की द स्पेसिफिक सेल इज गोइंग टू डिवाइड देयर एंड दे आर गोइंग टू फॉर्म गैमेट्स एंड गैमेट्स का जब फर्टिलाइजेशन होता है इट गिव राइज टू ऑस्प्रिंग ओके क्या हुआ हमें रिप्रोडक्टिव ऑर्गन या रिप्रोडक्टिव टिश्यू से गैमेट्स मिला गैमेट्स से फर्टिलाइजेशन होगा एंड वी आर गोइंग टू गेट दी ऑफ so now this offspring they divide by different process which we call it as meiosis and meiosis involve two consecutive division can you see meiosis mein do bar division hua hai so meiosis involves two consecutive division so when a cell divides by meiosis because do bar cell divide hua hai right so that is why during meiosis we get four new cell kitne new cell milenge hame four new cell instead of just two so the new cell yahan pe humne kya dekha daughter cell ke paas the daughter cells are going to have the same number of chromosome like the mother but in meiosis as they are dividing twice we are getting four new cell but the number of chromosome will be half of the mother cell okay so now can you think as to why the chromosome number has reduced in half in the daughter cell why the chromosome number has reduced because yahan pe do bar division hua hai meiosis mein that is the reason the number is reduced to half okay now i am going to give you a differentiation between uh, mitosis and meiosis so that you have a clear understanding on it okay just give me one minute I'll write it here. The difference between mitosis yeah, I'll write about the mitosis and yeah, I'll write about I'll not give you much points I'll just give you four points so that अगर कभी आपको पूछा गया इन एग्जाम फॉर टू मार्क्स यू कैन राइट दोज फोर पॉइंट्स ओके सो यू राइट यू शुड नो दैट माइटोसिस जो है माइटोसिस अकर्स इन सोमैटिक सेल एंड Germ cells, but meiosis occurs only in the germ cell of organism. reproduce sexually okay after that the second point that you can write is mitosis is an equitational cell division kya hai ye it is an Equitational cell division and meiosis is a reductional cell division. Okay, so it is reductional cell division. Okay, after that you should know. That mitosis may two daughter cells are produced. कितने? Two 
shorter cells are produced and meiosis may four daughter cells are produced okay after that you should know mitosis may the daughter cells they have same genetic constitution at the par as the parent cell so i'll write daughter cell has same genetic constitution as parent cell okay because it is equator uh, equational cell division that we are having okay and here you can write that the genetic combination of daughter cell is going to be different than the parental cell so i'll write genetic combination of daughter cell is different then parental cell due to crossing over okay so this is the differentiation that you should know between mitosis and meiosis and whenever you are writing about cell division aapko mitosis ke liye ye wala diagram draw karna hai and meiosis ke liye ye wala diagram draw karna hai now it is the time to revise like what we have studied in this lesson uh, the fundamental unit of life okay so we have studied that the functional organizational unit of life is what it is the cell itself right so cells are enclosed by a plasma membrane and this plasma membrane that is composed of lipids and proteins right aur hame pata hai ki jo hamara cell membrane hai which is also called as plasma membrane that is one of the active part of the cell because cell membrane is regulating the movement of material between ordered interior of the cell and out, outer environment by diffusion and osmosis process it is regulating the movement of materials right then plant cells may the cell wall is composed mainly of cellulose and this cellulose is located outside the cell membrane matlab jo hamara cell wall hai wo kahan pe located hota hai it is located outside the cell membrane and the presence of cell wall in the plant it enables them to exist in hypotonic media without bursting okay to humne cell membrane pe discuss kiya hai cell wall pe discuss kiya hai then we have discussed on nucleus as well right so the nucleus in eukaryote is separated from the cytoplasm hum nucleus jo hai usko cytoplasm se separate karte kaise kaise separate karte hain by a double layered membrane and it directs the life process of the cell and what does this er stands for <coughs> er means endoplasmic reticulum right so endoplasmic reticulum jo hai wo function karta hai as a passage way how does it functions it uh, functions as a passage way for intracellular transport as well as as a manufacturing surface okay and hamare paas do type ke endoplasmic reticulum hai ek hota hai smooth endoplasmic reticulum ek hota hai rough endoplasmic reticulum okay after that we discussed on golgi apparatus which is a sac which is which consists of stack of membrane bound vesicle and golgi apparatus ka function kya hai storage modification and packing of the substances which are involved in the manufacturing of the cell right and most of the uh, cell plant cells that we have they have large membranous organelle and this large membranous organelle 
we call them as what we call them as plastids which are of two type we have chromoplast matlab colored plastid and the secondly we have is leucoplast which is colorless plastid so because this chromoplast is colored it contains chlorophyll and that is called as chloroplast and we all know that it is because of the chloroplast that plants can make their own food but animals cannot right so primary function jo leucoplast ka hai which is colorless plastid that is storage itself ओके आफ्टर दैट हमने वैक्यूल्स पर डिस्कस किया वेर वी सॉ दैट प्लांट्स के पास देर इज अ लार्ज सेंट्रल वैक्यूल विच इज बीन प्रेजेंट एंड दैट लार्ज सेंट्रल वैक्यूल हेल्प्स द प्लांट इज इन मेंटेनिंग द टर्जरिटी ऑफ द सेल एज वेल एज इन स्टोरिंग सम इम्पॉर्टेंट सब्सटेंसेज लाइक वेस्ट ओके फिर हमने प्रोकेरियॉर्ड्स एंड यूकेरियॉर्ड्स पे कुछ चीज़ें डिस्कस की थी वेर वी सॉ दैट द प्रोकेरियोटिक सेल्स दे डोंट हैव एनी मेमरेन बाउंड ऑर्गेनल That is why their chromosomes are composed of only nucleic acid. ठीक है प्रोकेरियोटिक सेल के पास क्या नहीं है मेम्ब्रेन बाउंड ऑर्गेनल नहीं है एंड इसीलिए उनका क्रोमोजोम जो है उसके पास सिर्फ न्यूक्लिक एसिड है एंड दे हैव अ वेरी स्मॉल राइबोजोमल ऑर्गेनल राइबोजोम एज एन ऑर्गेनल विच इज प्रेजेंट ओके उसके बाद द लास्ट टॉपिक दैट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इज अबाउट द सेल डिविजन सो सेल्स इन ऑर्गेनिजम्स दे डिवाइड वाई द सेल डिविजन अकर्स for the division of the uh, growth of body for replacing the dead cells as well as for forming the gametes for reproduction and that is why cell division is important okay so now we have certain questions to discuss on where they have asked us to write a differentiation between the plant cell and the animal cell okay so i'll give you this table i have the answer for it wait so for that you need to have uh, three columns pehle hum characteristics likhenge like what is the difference between the plant cell and the animal cell with respect to the characteristics okay so firstly we are going to write the characteristics here ki hum kis kis cheezon pe discuss karenge so here we have the characteristics ठीक है देन यू आर गोइंग टू राइट दी प्लान सेल एंड देन वी हैव दी एनिमल सेल ठीक है सो द फर्स्ट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक दैट वी हैव इज विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू द सेल वॉल सो प्लांट में सेल वॉल इज प्रेजेंट ओके बट in animal cell the cell wall is absent right so we'll write that in animal cell the cell wall is absent okay let me do one thing i'll write all the characteristics and then we'll move on secondly we have we will be discussing about the shape of the cell then we have nucleus lysosome plastids and structure of vacuole सो फर्स्ट एल राइट विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू प्लांट सेल की प्लांट्स के अंदर शेप ऑफ सेल कैसा होता है ओके सो प्लांट सेल में जो शेप होता है दे हैव डिस्टिंग एजेस द शेप इज आइदर रेक्ट 
triangular or square. Then plant cell में nucleus होता है Yes. Plant cell में nucleus is present. It lies on one side of cell. ठीक है कहाँ पे रहता है It lies on one side of the cell. Then lysosomes plants में बहुत ज़्यादा rarely present होता है Okay. When it comes to plastids. Plastids are present in the uh, plants, but it is absent absent in the animal cell. Okay, and if I talk about the structure of vacuole in plant cell, so plant cell ke under there is a single vacuole. So I'll write single vacuole, single or few large vacuole. That is centrally located okay then now we are going to write about the plant cell no about the animal cell okay so animal cell may the uh, cell wall is absent then when it comes to the shape of the cell so you can write that animal ka cell jo hota, that is round and irregular shape क्या क्या होता है राउंड एंड रेगुलर शेप देन विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू न्यूक्लियस द न्यूक्लियस इज प्रेजेंट इन द प्लांट सेल एंड इट लाइज इन द सेंटर ठीक है लाइज इन सेंटर ऑफ द सेल आफ्टर दैट लाइजोसोम्स दे आर ऑलवेज प्रेजेंट इन द एनिमल सेल बट दे आर रेयरली प्रेजेंट इन द प्लांट सेल आफ्टर लाइजोसोम प्लास्टिड्स आर एब्सेंट in the animal cell they are uh, present only in the plant cell and vacuoles so there are presence of numerous and small vacuole okay so this is how you can go on go on with the difference between plant cell and the animal cell so try to remember this uh, six points which I have shared. Okay. After that, we have to, uh, the second question that we are having is, what is the difference between prokaryotic cell and a eukaryotic cell? Okay. So I'll write this as well. Prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell ke beech ka difference kya hai so first thing we are going to write is with respect to the size okay so prokaryotes ka jo size hota hai that is journally small kya hai it is going to be journally small that is 1 se 10 micrometer ka size hoga where 1 micrometer is going to be equal to 10 raise to minus 6 meter Okay, and eukaryotic cell ka size kya hota hai? It is journally large. Okay, so large me you can say it can be 5, say 100 micrometer. Okay, and second point that you can write in prokaryotic cell is there is a single chromosome which is present here. Okay, so prokaryotic cell have only single chromosome. There is a single chromosome in prokaryotic cell and in eukaryotic cell they have more than one chromosome. So you will write there are more than one chromosome. Okay. After that you can write with respect to prokaryotic cell membrane bound cell organelles are absent in the prokaryotic cell. What? Membrane bound cell 
cellular organelle organelles are absent here you will write that membrane bound cell organelles are present okay then one more last point you can write is the nuclear region is not well developed as the nuclear membrane is absent so you can write one thing nuclear uh, membrane is absent here you can write nuclear membrane is present like that also you can go so i'll just write nuclear membrane is absent and here you can write and you can elongate on your own why you know that nuclear membrane near but they have a nucleoid which has been present in the prokaryotic cell right and here you can write that nuclear membrane is present or it is well defined as well okay so i hope you know the differentiation between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell now right ye humne pehle bhi discuss kiya that is why i'm not discussing it much okay now some of the questions uh, some of the answers i'm writing which are small enough and some of the answers which will be big i will not be writing that i will be dictating that okay so yahan pe third question which has been asked is what will happen if the plasma membrane ruptures or break down so you can write here is if the plasma membrane or break down then molecules of some substance will freely move in and out of the cell what will happen molecule of some substance will move freely in and out of the cell okay then as plasma membrane that act as a mechanical barrier we know right as plasma membrane which is also called as cell membrane as plasma membrane act as a mechanical barrier exchange of material from its surrounding through osmosis or diffusion in the cell won't take place right because humne jab plasma membrane padha tha tab humne wahan pe osmosis and diffusion discuss kiya so if the plasma membrane is rupturing to wahan pe diffusion process bhi nahi hoga osmosis bhi nahi hoga so consequently what happens is consequently the cell will die okay the cell will die 
due to disappearance of the protoplasmic material due to disappearance of protoplasmic material okay I hope you are clear with it कि अगर plasma membrane rupture होता है या breakdown करता है तो क्या होगा हमारा cell जो है eventually it is going to die because of the disappearance of this protoplasmic material okay now next question is what will happen to the life of a cell if there was no Golgi apparatus अगर Golgi apparatus नहीं होता तो cell की life को क्या होगा so you should know that Golgi apparatus consists of stack right we have studied this that Golgi apparatus consists of stack of membrane bound vesicle whose functions are Golgi apparatus के function क्या है? Storage, right? First of all, पहला function Golgi apparatus का is storage of the substance. After storage, packaging of the substance, right? Packaging के बाद manufacturing of the substance. Right? These are the functions of the Golgi apparatus. Right? So, if these functions are not performed, what will happen in the cell's life? So, without the Golgi apparatus, without Golgi apparatus, cell will be disabled from packing and dispatching the material which have been produced cell will be disabled from packing and dispatching the material that are produced by the cell okay so because Golgi apparatus जो है वो पूरे cell के formation के लिए involved होता है that is the reason कि यहाँ पे अब cell का formation ही नहीं होगा okay तो if there is no Golgi apparatus the cells will not be produced okay after that the next question that we are having is which organelle is known as the powerhouse of the cell and why? So, mitochondria jo hai, I'll write only mitochondria. So, mitochondria is called as the powerhouse of the cell. And why it, the reason for this is because, because what does it does? It releases the energy because it, releases the energy required for different activities of the life in the form of ATP right ATP stands for adenosine triphosphate and the short form for this is ATP right so it is very much important for performing several chemical activities of the life as well and I'll write here that ATP is referred to as what do we call ATP as energy currency of the cell right energy currency of the 
cell. Okay. Now see the next question that we have is where do the lipids and proteins who are constituting the cell membrane they get synthesized? So they get synthesized in the endoplasmic reticulum. Kahan pe synthesize hote hain lipid and protein? Wait. They get synthesized in the endoplasmic reticulum, which we also write it as ER. Okay. After that, the next question that we have is how does an amoeba obtain its food? So I'll just write in short that the amoeba obtain its food. Through the process of endocytosis. Kaun se process se? Through the process of endocytosis. Because the cell membrane of the amoeba is flexible enough, the amoeba is able to engulf the food vacuole and it is going to griddling it and it is being assisted with the help of pseudopodia there. Okay, so amoeba secretes a digestive enzyme so that it can bring about the digestion of the engulfed parti particle that it has trapped. Okay, so endo, endocytosis process say amoeba obtains is its food. Now the next question that we have is what is osmosis? So I'll write the process of movement of water molecule Sorry. the process of movement of water molecule from a region of higher concentration to region of lower concentration. Through a semi permeable membrane is known as osmosis. Okay, after that, the next question that we have is an activity. Where we need to carry out the following activity. Now take four peeled potato, halve it and squeeze each one out to make a potato cup. Kya banayenge haan? Potato cup banayenge. Now one of this potato cup, it should be made from a boiled potato. Ek potato cup aap kis se banaoge? Boiled potato se. So now what you need to do is, put each potato cup in a tray containing water. And now what you have to do is, Keep cup A empty. B may put one teaspoon sugar in cup B. C may you have to put salt in that. Then D may fourth one may you have to add one teaspoon of sugar in the boiled potato cup D. Okay. Ab aap ye charo, charo potato tube ko ab rakh doge two hours ke liye. You have to keep that for two hours. And after two hours you have to observe the following potato cups and you need to answer this question. Now explain why water gathers in the hollowed portion of the B and C. B or C. Just ke under apne sugar and salt dala tha. Usme water gather kyu nahi hua hai? Because water accumulates. Maa pe gather hoga. There the water gets accumulated in that hollowed portion of B and C because of the difference in water concentration. Okay, that is the reason maa pe water ja ke accumulate hota hai. Okay. Second question is why is potato A Necessary for this experiment. Hame ek empty cup kyu rakna hai? Because we are going to have that as a, you can say result hame pata chalega uske difference ke basis pe, right? So you can say potato A is essential for this experiment because it is significant to compare the different scenarios which occur in potato B, potato C and D me. So potato A is going to show that the potato cavity on its own cannot bring about the water movement. Water ka movement nahi hota khali cup mein. So water 
तो वहाँ पे सॉल्ट एंड शुगर दे आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर ब्रिंगिंग आउट द मोमेंट ऑफ द वाटर सो दैट इज वाई कप ए इज इम्पॉर्टेंट ओके नाउ द थर्ड क्वेश्चन इज एक्सप्लेन वाई वाटर डज नॉट गैदर इन दी हॉलोड कप पोर्सन ऑफ ए एंड डी अब ए और डी में जहाँ पे आपने एम टी कप रखा है एंड डी में जहाँ पे आपने बॉइल्ड पटाटो कप के अंदर शुगर डाला है वहाँ पे वाटर जमा क्यों नहीं होता बिकॉज कप ए डजेंट शो एनी चेंज बिकॉज वहाँ पे वाटर फ्लो ही नहीं हो रहा एंड वी नो दैट अगर ऑस्मोसिस होने के लिए वी नीड कॉन्सेंट्रेशन फ्रॉम हायर देन दी अदर सेल राइट और कप डी की बात करें तो वहाँ पे जो सेल्स है इन द कप डी दे आर डेड बिकॉज देर इज़ नो एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ सेमी परमिएबल मेमरेन फॉर द वाटर फ्लो कप डी के अंदर कोई सेमी परमिएबल मेमरेन ही नहीं है एंड दैट इज़ वाई देर ऑस्मोसिस इज नॉट गोइंग टू अकर ओके नाउ द लास्ट क्वेश्चन दैट वी हैव इज what type of cell division is required for growth and repair of the body and which type is involved in the formation of the gamete okay so hame pata hai cell division do type ka hota hai kaun sa type ka hota hai cell division we know we have two types of cell division okay and what are they first we have is mitosis and second type of division that we have is meiosis so mitosis mein kya hoga mitosis is involved with the growth and repair of the body and meiosis is involved in formation of the gamete now we already know the difference between mitosis and meiosis i have given you all okay so i hope now here we complete with the lesson fundamental unit of life and i hope whatever we have discussed in this lesson you are very much clear with it you are clear with the components of the cell wall you are clear with the different organelles that we have inside the cell you are clear with all the basic concepts all the basic terms that we have discussed in this lesson and you are clear with everything you are clear with the fundamental unit of life that is the cell with what the cell is made up of what is the structural composition of the cell and everything okay so we have discussed everything for this lesson fundamental unit of life and i hope that everyone is clear with it okay so here we complete with this lesson fundamental unit of life in the next part we are going to start with the uh, with the next lesson thank you everyone